Hello everybody, how is everybody doing at this fantastic time of year? The transition is here, winter is over, spring is arriving, I'm feeling better. I hope everyone else is too. Um, right, new video, not been, what's say not been, has been a long time. Um, again, circumstance has been, um, I've just been far too busy to do anything, so, um, I know, sorry, my dog's just turned up, he wants to say hello, don't you? Don't you, well, you want to say hello? You want to say hello? You want to say hello? <laughs> Sorry, I'm rambling away to my dog here. Um, so, new video. It's snuff today. I um, haven't done snuff for a while. I've felt I've neglected snuff. Um, <coughs> excuse me, quite wrongly neglected stuff because, stuff, snuff because it is fantastic stuff. Um, but I'm snoozing at the moment. Some general long, strong Paul Sean. You can see. Um, it's been discontinued, unfortunately, so I think this is my last can of it, actually. But um, it'll be missed, but the long extra strong is still here, and the long um, original normal is still here, so um, we're not quite out of the woods with it, and the extra strong tastes slightly similar, uh, a bit different to the extra strong, to the strong long, so um, all is not lost. Anywho, I'm talking about snuff. New toke. There is new toke out. Um... They're not necessarily new, as in they are the Toke USA line of snuffs, which um, they've now started selling here um, on Toke's website, tokesnuff.com. And, um, yeah, so all the stuff you guys in the States have been able to get, we can now get here, as well as the normal Toke stuffs that we can buy here anyway. Um, and also they've been um, expanding the Silver Dollar line here in the UK as well, um, again, via Toke's um, website. And um, again, other things that have been available in the States for a while now, um, but now we can have them here now too. Fantastic news for us, um, because you've all been lucky getting them. So I think they've sold so well and they're doing really well there. So um, Roderick, the guy who owns Toke, said, um, yeah, bugger it, let's just sell it in the UK, see how it gets on. Because um, he actually asked me how on an English nose would take to some of the silver dollars, and um, I'm just finishing up with them to give him a full opinion of them. But um, get to that later but one of the ones I did get was a new silver dollar it's coffee and I know this has been out in America for a while but um, I'm looking forward to getting that at my Kong. I've not tried any of it yet but um, I shall so on to the tokes the new stuff um, so my dog is sat right here I'll have to get him on camera so you can see it he's just sat right here in front of me aren't you Alf say hello and he turns his head there we go <laughs> Spaniels for you, but um, so there we go. Anyway, the new tokes, we'll get them all here. There are eight new ones they've come out. Well, sorry, eight new ones, eight USA line ones, which um, have been available, but now available for Pachos here. Um, start with we've got lime. See the new, different the style, new tins to what we get here in the UK. I'll just grab a tote tin and show you. Um, that's the, the normal toke, the UK stuff. That's the toke USA tins. As you can see, slightly different, but you know, almost the same. Um, I'm dropping them tins everywhere. Do excuse me. Um, I'm sure I had more than this. There it is. Um, yeah, so lime. Um, that is, if you've had the toke lime toast, the normal toke lime toast, it's got that kind of similar smell. Well, actually, it's almost identical. I think it's slightly sweeter in scent. Uh, but it's still that lovely limey scent. But it's a totally different base. It's not on a toast. It's just like on a normal, medium to fine, moist grind. Um, and it's gorgeous. It's absolutely wonderful. So if you can't take toasts and you like the scent of toke lime toast, this is your next best step and it's fantastic. Um, we've also got... Hang on a sec, sorry. He won't leave me alone. And he wants to jump up where he normally has his cuddles. So come on then. Come on. Come on now. You can see him there. He wants to jump up. There we go. Right, so Alfie's happy. Um, and we've got this. It's Kentucky Bourbon. Now, already having opened the tin and had a sniff, I'm not a fan. Um, the smell is very bourbon, and I'm not a fan of bourbon. Um, but if you like bourbon, you'll bloody love that. It's even got that alcoholy. Oh, the scent of it the spirits have so um, 
Let's have a quick look, see if this is on toast bed. No, it's just like a, the normal toke, standard toke base. That's how the looks of it, so I haven't actually taken any yet, so I couldn't tell you completely, but I can smell it already. Oh, dear me. Then this one, chocolate. Again, different to the normal toke chocolate, so it would be a bit of a fraud if they just stuck a new label on the normal chocolate. Um, it's got a vanilla -y kind of base on it, and it's it's almost like the vanilla and the chocolate have been combined. It's much sweeter in scent than the toke chocolate, because that's more just like cocoa powder. Um, but this stuff is divine. It really is good stuff. Um, this would go well with toke peanut butter. Um, that would, because like Dalakia Swiss chocolate and toke peanut butter together, Ooh, lovely, lovely scent. But this with toke peanut butter, I'm going to have to try that myself. Um, this already gets a thumbs up from me. It's fantastic stuff. Um, and we've got um, wild berry. I saw the colour of the tin and I immediately thought skullberry when I saw it. Um, if you dip and you know what it is, not a popular dip really, but it's still available, so it must sell. There must be people that use it. I can't say I'm a fan of it, <laughs> but um, but this stuff smells gorgeous. I mean, it doesn't smell like it's going to make you puke or anything. It just smells of berries. It's um, and again, toke to me make the best fruity snuffs out there. You can't buy any better than a fruity toke snuff if you like fruity snuffs. So it's it smells like there is strawberry in there, blackberry. Raspberry, there's definitely raspberry in that, and a slight hint of cherry, I think, on the back. But it's it's a lot of raspberry, strawberry, and blackberry in there, or black and black currant, I think, actually. It's oh, it's, I mean, I've had this up my nose most of today, and oh, I, will, like I said I will do full reviews on all of them, but looking good. Um, and then we've got take spearmint, which is. A good one for me because me for mint minty stuff is not my, I'm not the biggest fan but I absolutely adore spearmint. So the only other spearmint that I, is worth talking about really is Wilson Sacharo Country Mint and Crumbs of Comfort. They are fantastic snuffs. They're absolutely divine, wonderful scent. Um, there is also Silver Dollar um, spearmint which is absolutely beautiful and which my sister stole my tin of actually. She does not use tobacco at all but absolutely loves the stuff and was taking it. I was quite surprised. Um, so she was a fan of that. This it's in a bigger tin as well. It's in a ten gram tin rather than the five gram tap tins that Silver Dollar come in. Oh, it smells beautiful. It smells like um, polo mint, spearmint. Oh, I'm, again, I'm going to enjoy that one whenever I start using that. Haven't taken any of that one yet. Um, and then we've got black cherry. Totally different to the take normal cherry. I may add. It when you smell it, you smell cherry and you can smell almond. It's got it's on. I th I would imagine it's on like a base of to toke almond with a load of cherry slapped on the top. But it's a really dark, thick cherry. Um, again, I hate to compare it to skull cherry, but that almost initial sickly scent. But it's not sickly. It's sweet and nice and kind of pure, rather than the artificial horrible nastiness that um, skull cherry smells, smells and tastes like. Um, but there's there's definitely some almond in that that's really ooh, lovely. I'm going to enjoy more of that. I've only had a toot of that today. And then lastly, peach. Now, if you've seen my videos, you know toke peach is possibly one of my favourite fruity snuffs of all time. So to change and to mess with that is kind of you know, I'd be a bit, but it smells of that beautiful toke peach scent that you get. But this one is ever so slightly mentholated, and it's again when I read that it had menthol in, I thought, oh, you've just ruined it there. But no, it works because what it gives, it gives a slight burn and tingle in, in your nose, but not offensive or mentholy, so it's not horrible, and it slightly just extenuates the flavour. Um, again, that's very moist to, as well, very easy to take. Um, there is another one which I didn't get managed to get hold of simply because um, it was unavailable on the Take website when I made my order, um, which is Whiskey and Honey. 
totally different to the normal Turk whiskey and honey from what I read. Um, it's made of pure rustica, so it's strong as anything um, in terms of giving you a good dose of vitamin N that we all need. Um, so apparently it's the most the strongest snuff they've ever made. Stronger than Quit, stronger than the SP Extra, which were pretty hardcore going anyway. Um, so, yeah, when I manage to get hold of some of that, I'll let you know what it's like. But if it's like the normal Turk whiskey and honey, again, I was sceptical because whiskey scented stuff I'm not a fan really because um, normally they just smell artificial and wrong <clears throat> but take whiskey and honey really discipline so the honey goes so well with the whiskey the whiskey's not the forefront it's kind of a it sucks you in kind of scent and it develops and it sets the tone and then there's this wonderful honey overtone over it like sticking your nose in a jar of manuka honey or something like that um, so it's all good all there all fantastic but I'll let you know what the whiskey and honey is like when I'm meant to get my hands on some of it. So there we go. That's the new toke line. Um, I was going to say I was going to take some, but I've not long had some snuff up my nose. So um, bugger it. Let's try to change it. Let's stick some silver dollar up there since I've not had any yet. Um, find the hole. Ooh, uh, he said. Um, give a brief overview of what it's like. Tap the pit over. If we can get it out. It is very moist. I don't know if you can see that there, it's not the best shot, but um, it's quite dark. Set so to medium grind. Um, let's get it up, up the conk and um, oh. Oh, that's really easy to take. That's not. Um... Oh, it's quite. It's almost creamy. It's almost. It's definite. It's definitely coffee. I think on the website it describes it as like a cafe latte, and that's quite accurate actually. That's very very pleasant. That's very very nice. Hmm, that's nice. It's it's creamy, coffee y. Um, no tobacco really to scent or hint to really speak of, but it's, um, <coughs> excuse me, yeah, it's very, very nice. I could see myself getting on with that one very, very well. Um, yeah, found out, that was very pleasant, it was very, very nice, I quite like that. Um, so yeah, there we go, silver dollar, um, coffee, 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 silver dollar coffee, um, thumbs up from me. Um, like I said I will go through every one individually, do individual videos and all of them, so expect me to probably finish the videos and upload them by this time next year, um, the current rate I'm at. Um, we have new snoozers as well, Off-Road Apple came out recently, I've got myself a roll of that um, as soon as I found it was out, put an order in. Um, it's very, very nice, I can report. It's, um, it's, it's, it's almost cinnamon, a cinnamon apple, like an apple pie, um, but I'll, again I'll do a video on it, it's very, very good. Um, what else have we got? Um, I don't think there's anything much new, really, um, that I've got um, that's come out um, that I've been able to get hold of. So that's about it, really. Um, so, yeah, again, thanks for watching. Sorry, I said it was going to be a quick video. It's a long one. Um, but I'm going through eight different snuffs, so do forgive the um, length of the video. hope you're stuck with it through to the end. Um, go and buy the new Toke stuffs, um, the Toke USA line. Um, always pick up more of your normal take whilst you're there. For me, SP Extra, Peach, um, Berwick Brown, big fan of Berwick Brown, absolutely love it, and Original, um, and Lime Toast, um, actually, and Blueberry is my all-time, one of my all-time favourite fruity take snuffs. Um, so, yeah, go and pick them up, check them out, um, takesnuff.com, all on there. I'll pop a link down below for you um, if I remember when I do the video and upload it. Um, and, yeah, so happy snuffing, happy snoozing, happy smokeless everything enjoy yourselves guys i'll catch you soon um and take care bye bye